Welcome to Talk, Talk Juicy. Juicy. I am your host, Brittany. And I'm Leanne. And thank you guys so much for watching. Today we have some really juicy topics up for grabs. I'm so excited. So I am too. So for starters, um, you know the reality TV show Love and Hip Hop of Hollywood. There's like a, a couple different series of those, right? There's yes. Atlanta, New York, but the one in Hollywood. So there's a rapper allegedly on there named Youngberg, and he actually got arrested for a domestic violence dispute. So tell us the juice. Okay, so basically what happened was, well, allegedly, um, Youngberg was taken into police custody for a domestic dispute between him and his now girlfriend, whose name is Masika. She's a character on the show, and um, the argument all started after they actually taped the reunion show, which is really juicy. So they had already been at the reunion, already taped it, no fighting on the set of there. I guess they waited until after the show to go fight. So I want to know what happened on the set. Like, what led them to go home and brawl? Well, this is the thing. The reunion has not aired yet. You know right? I have my TiVo ready. I'm going to be <laughs> tuned in. As um, am I. <laughs> exactly. So as soon as I figure out that, I will keep you guys updated. But there was a dispute between them. They went out after the reunion. This is what the reports are saying, so it's alleged. And they went to a restaurant and reportedly... Berg's card, credit card, got declined. So I'm guessing Masika had a few choice words for him. Um, why can't you pick up the tab? Something, I don't know, something like maybe your card always gets declined. This is just me going off the top of my head on that. But he didn't like what she had to say, and he repeatedly porched, punched her and drug her by her hair. Out oh, of, wow. Yes, out of the wow. establishment. See, what I don't understand is how how many celebrities have to go through this? Like, how what is it going to take for these guys to know that this is not okay? It's not okay for you to put your hands on a woman. It's not okay under any circumstances. I don't care what the situation is. That's just crazy to me. I, I think that it's important for us to also say that it's never okay for anyone to put their hands on anyone. So yeah. whether it's a woman it's putting a, her hands on her man or absolutely. vice versa, Domestic violence is never okay. And it's unfortunate that this has been playing out in the public eye so much. Very um, true. There was another incident with the, the Ray Rice event that happened. Exactly, with him and his <coughs> wife. Um, his now elevator. wife, but you know he was not married to her when it first happened. Yeah, so, so they were engaged, and of course they were in the elevator. The tapes have surfaced. Right. And, um, you know, Ray Rice, you see him dragging her out of the elevator. And no one actually around even said anything. So my thing no, is, they didn't. not only when is it going to stop, but if you are a person that is watching someone else being abused physically or verbally, do you have the guts to say, hey, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? You know. Well, you, you know stop. what? It's called the bystander effect. And no one wants to get involved because they don't want to seem like the person that's, you know, getting involved in someone else's situation and it escalates to be even worse than what it is essentially which is crazy you know because yeah. i mean if it were you would you would you stand in if you seen something like that on the street happening? no well you know me i'm always <laughs> like i have to put my two cents in everything so i definitely would not be that person that would just sit and watch someone get beat up on the street i would be trying to help the person or calling the cops or I mean, yeah, doing well, whatever I can do. I mean, do. I think a lot of people would help try to help from afar and maybe call the cops or something like that, but no one's going to physically, or not no one, but most people don't want to physically go and, you know, try to help the person because it can escalate and be much worse. Um, My thing is, how, like, what is it going to take for the women? Like, how much are you willing, willing to put up with just to be with the man who has this image, this celebrity image, or, you know, he has money or whatever, like, what, how much are you willing to deal with, you know, just to have, to have that, that name? And not even that, but, like, for people like Masika, who are on a popular reality TV show, young women watch that, and what kind of image are you portraying? Or, you know, what do you want your female fans to, to believe, and how do you want them to feel or act, you know? Like, mm -hmm. if I had a fan base, that watched me every week, I would always want to put my best foot forward. 
you know? And I wouldn't want to portray that that's okay to let someone disrespect me or verbally or even physically assault me. I think that's totally not okay. I agree, but we haven't heard from her yet, so we don't know what the well, story's gonna be. I feel like it's taken too long. This happened three yeah. days ago. So whether it happened yesterday, today, I just feel like as soon as it came out that he was arrested for this, and that her name was attached mm -hmm. to it, she should have, I mean, in this day and age, you have so many outlets to where you can reach your fans. She could have put up an Instagram video, a tweet or anything, you know, like, hey, this is not okay. Never stay in a domestic violence situation. If you know somebody like that, call this number. We haven't heard anything from her, right. which is unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. I just, I hope that she learns from this situation and she can move forward and not be with this person anymore because I mean, really, who would want to be with someone who physically abuses them, who verbally abuses them, any type of abuse? It's it's not necessary, and it's just not right. Yeah, that's true. I mean, but even in the Ray Rice thing, when we kind of touched on that, there have been other celebrities who have been in relationships, and they had been abused, and they kept their relationship going. For example, Rihanna and Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. Everyone was in an uproar when Rihanna went back to Chris Brown. She even had that Oprah interview when she was saying that she wasn't going to go back to Chris Brown and she had learned her lesson. And then a and couple then of weeks went later, right back to she's him. still dating yeah. this guy. So I guess it's easier said than done. I've I never mean, been yeah, in that position. I guess it is easier said than done. I've seen people go through the position or through that, be in that same position. I've seen people go through it. Um, it's, it's very unfortunate. I. I just wouldn't wish that on anybody, and it's uh, if a man does that to a woman, it's it's very low because there's no way that a woman can compete with a man. So for them to try to harm someone physically or verbally, you know, she can't. A woman can't compete against him or win in a fight. So that's very cowardly. So recently, I heard. Well, I read this story on Facebook as like a BuzzFeed um or BuzzFeed article. But there was a lady and she was in a physically abusive relationship and um, she decided one night that after her husband had got done beating her, she wanted to call the cops, but she didn't want to just straight up call the cops, you know, because he was still there. So she called to order a pizza and she called 911 and when the operator answered, he said, 911, what's your emergency? And she said, yes, I'd like to order a pizza. And he goes, ma'am, this is 911, you know, not a pizza place. Do you know that you're calling 911? And she goes, yes, I would like to order a pizza. And the operator asks her on the other end, mm -hmm. is there an emergency? And she says, yes, I would like one large pizza. And she starts to tell him the toppings and how she would like the pizza prepared. Wow. Well, the operator caught on to that she was in trouble. Mm -hmm. And he asked her, he said, ma'am, are you able to stay on the phone or is someone in the same room with you? And she says, no, I can't. Um, she goes, no, that'll be all. I don't need anything else. I just wanted to order the pizza. And she goes, I will see you when you get here and hangs up the phone. That is so genius. That, that I would have never That's thought of that. That's very brave of her. That's so brave. Not only is it brave, but it's just like how like genius is that to actually call yeah, well, the operator and try to disguise the fact that you are... I guess you, you never know how strong you are until you're in that situation, and you never know what you'll have to do. So Yeah, I would have never thought of it. Extremely brave of her. And I just want to say to the ladies out there, if it, if it was me and I was in that situation, you know, I would try to get out of it, first of all, and then surround myself with people who love me. You know, if you have family or friends, you know, people that care about you genuinely and they don't want to see you in that situation because the longer you stay, the worse it's going to be. So um, if there's anyone out there who's experiencing domestic violence, violence and you know you need help you feel like you don't have a voice and you want a way out of it I have a number that you can call this is Haven and it's a domestic abuse treatment center it's right here in Oakland County and the number is 877-922-1274 and that's for anyone um, it can be children it could be teenagers any type of abuse that you're going through um, you know, there's people out there who want to help you, 
and who want to see you get out of that situation because you're strong if you can leave that situation. I come in. I've seen it with even close family members who've been through that, and it's just, it's just so, it can be very detrimental to your self-esteem, to your, if you have children and they're watching this. Oh, you yeah, know? I didn't even think about that. Like yeah, how the so kids can react. it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very hurtful for your children to see you go through that on a daily basis, you know. So I would never wish that on anyone. And you're very strong if you can walk away from a situation like that. So we're actually going to take a break right now. And we'll be right back after these messages. My name is DJ Pan Hornbeck, and these are some of the singers that are on karaoke on TV every Saturday night. And we would like to invite you to come out and join us. Does everyone have fun with us? To find out how you can sing on karaoke on TV, please call the Owen TV studio at 248-393-1060. Well, on a lighter note, let's talk sports. So I went to the last few home games for the Pistons. You know, they're back in action. And they've actually redeemed themselves since our last conversation we had. This is good. This is very good. <laughs> I told you, you just had to give them some time. They were going to warm up. Yeah. I so knew it. They've definitely warmed up. They've been having their defense game strong. So they it's been four games since we last spoke about this. And they actually played the Knicks and the Bucks, of which they were – they were 98 to 95 both Wait, games. Wait, I know this is a crazy question. I know the Knicks are New York, <laughs> but the Bucks, what? Yeah. Milwaukee. Okay, Milwaukee. Okay, I'm like, where are they <laughs> from? Like, what team are they? Yeah, it's okay. the Milwaukee Bucks. But I'm learning. So they, the Pistons won both of those games, which I was very happy. I was there to witness those because those were home games, and I'm at all the home games. Um, so that was really good. They were close games, though, so it was a really good game, but they had their defense game going strong, so – um, you did it, Pistons. You, you you gave me my request while you were here at home, at least. <laughs> yeah, they did that just for you because they watch Talk Juicy and they're like, okay, well, Brittany and Leanne. They better have watch decided, Talk Juicy. <laughs> yeah, Brittany and Leanne have decided we need to win, so let's get let's get it going. Okay, I like it. I doubt it highly, but anyways, <laughs> maybe they'll watch one day. But no, okay. So then on Sunday they played Utah. The Utah Jazz. Jazz. Yes, I got it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You got it. I got it. Okay. The Utah Jazz. Okay, so I'm learning too, guys. We're learning about sports together. because we're learning together. So we can talk more about it because, hey, girls like sports too. So I mean, we can honestly, converse. The reason why I learned to talk sports is just, yes, because of the show, but my fiance gets so impressed. When I come home and I'm like, babe, did you see the game? This is what happened. This is what happened. He's Tell like, me about he's it. He's like, who are you? Uh, yes, I love it. So That's I try great. to get cool points with my man. So the game on Sunday, though, uh, against Utah Jazz, it was a one point. They lost by one. And I was very upset because, actually, I left a little early. I left in the fourth quarter. And they were up by, like, over five points. And then by the time I got home, it was like, it's Go always like that. Hill. It is always <laughs> was, like that. I was so mad. I'm like, what are you doing? You were just there. Like, they had the game if they would have just kept it going a little bit longer. But, you know, it happens. So, speaking of leaving a game, um, on Saturday, we decided that we were going to go, not Brittany and I, but my fiance and I decided we were going to go to East Lansing because he graduated from state to go see Michigan State versus Ohio State. Oh. Girl. How talk was about that game? Disappointing. Oh, you know what? I know how that game was because I heard all we, about it. First of all, Michigan State lost, um, oh. which is never good. That's unfortunate. But you know what I noticed? We went to a couple of tailgates, which were extremely fun. We actually ended up on ESPN for a minute. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. <laughs> I got to watch you. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. But what I really, what I noticed is like, it's cool to go to a game and watch it, but it's all about like the actual drive up there and the tailgating and freezing your tail off in the oh, cold. Oh, yeah. It was an 8 o'clock game. I think it was down to like 50-something degrees. I'm sitting there with hand warmers, leg, like, ha leg warmers, feet warmers, hot chocolate. I was so cold. And then Aww. we stayed all the way up until like the second – no, and I would say after like – Halftime. So the third quarter, 
we we decided that we were going to leave because it just went all downhill. At first, really? Michigan State was up. Everybody was yelling. It, the crowd was hyped. <laughs> the energy was good. And then these guys then just decided they did not want to win. Aww. They just start giving the game well, away. Well, the tailgating, that's the beauty of it. That's the fun part. Yeah, the tailgating. The food? You, you get to yeah. eat food. You get to drink beer if you're over 21. Yes. You have to be over 21. Yes. <laughs> but you get to, you know, drink, hang out, and meet see all people. your old friends, yeah. meet new friends. It was so yeah. cool because, you know, we graduated from OU, so we don't have a football team. We have a football club yeah. that just Which started. Which they just started. Exactly. And, you know, we're happy for the football club, but right. we wish we had a team. Yeah, it's not like a tailgating kind of thing that we do no. at OU, so it was totally fun we for me. We need to start it. We need to go back as alumni and start a tailgating. Maybe. But it was totally <laughs> fun for me to actually just get into that whole tailgating experience and everybody's all screaming and drinking and eating it was great it was great so yay Michigan State sorry you didn't win this one but hopefully you can redeem yourselves because we went to the Rose they Bowl will. they won the Rose Bowl right last like they'll redeem themselves they need to come back just like you said about the Pistons okay. give them time they're gonna warm up <laughs> they just need to <laughs> get it together I sure hope so I sure hope so yeah they well. will They'll do good. So then the Pistons ended up last night, they ended up losing to the Bulls. Oh, Chicago. Chicago Bulls. Yep. yep. So the score was 91-102, to 102, which is not that bad. I didn't get to watch that game. That's a I was close actually, game. Yeah, that's a close game. It was a close game on Sunday. They lost by one point. See, I feel like if they would have had me on the team, I could have made a couple threes, and we would have been there. <laughs> Maybe a free throw or something, you know. Yeah, yep. We would have won. Get that foul. <laughs> yeah, you know, you get that foul, and then you go to the line, and then you go like this, and booyah. Yeah. That's it. That's that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see you do that. I can't. No, I really can't shoot a free throw, Brittany. Seriously. Okay. I'm so for real. Yeah, we, we're gonna shoot some hoops, guys. We'll we'll tape it. Talk when we juicy do it on you location. We're gonna go to the <laughs> arena at OU, and I will show you guys that I can do a free throw, shoot a free throw. Personally. Oh, so how about this? I challenged Leanne to play tennis the other day. Oh gosh. She never texted me back. What was up with that? Because I'm not athletically inclined, so when you said, <laughs> first of all, it's about to be winter time. She said, "Let's go play tennis." I'm well, thinking, we don't have to play outside. We can play indoors. And then I had a thought: Who does she think we are? Venus and Serena? I mean, yes, I've never yes. played tennis in my life. No, we're talk juicy girl. <laughs> I'm just thinking this is gonna end. I bad. mean, I'm not perfect at it, but you know, it could be a nice little hobby. We'll that try we start. it. We'll give it a try, and we will tape it so our we'll record so our viewers it so you can, can watch. So you can see it. Exactly. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. You probably will. I'm going <laughs> to give it to you. You probably will win. But if we go bowling, oh, it's over for you. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I'm good in bowling. We have officially thought of a new segment. Yes. Talk Juicy, Talk Sports. And it's going to be a challenge talk sports, between talk, Brittany yeah. and Leanne. Absolutely. Pick a team, viewers. Pick a team. Pick a team and... Add us on our Talk Juicy page. Who do you want to see win in bowling? Leanne. You want to see Brittany or Leanne. you want to see Leanne? It's all Leanne. <laughs> this is a good poll to do for our um, viewers. Yeah, it is. Go to Talk Juicy on Instagram, Talk Juicy mm -hmm. underscore, right? Nope, it's just Talk Juicy, oh. at Talk Juicy. On Twitter, we're Talk Juicy underscore. I knew it was something like that. Yeah. So if you want to see me win in bowling and in tennis, oh. hashtag <laughs> Queen B at Talk Juicy on Instagram. And if, if you, you want to see me win in, in bowling, which I will, probably not so much in tennis, I'll give <laughs> that to you. Hashtag Lolly Leanne at Talk Juicy. <laughs> exactly. We will see what the viewers think. Viewers Choice Award. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> All right. So I guess we should take a break, right? Our first poll, yes. Yeah. We can take a break. We will see you guys in a minute. The Orion Lighted Parade is a tradition that ushers in the holiday season here in the Orion area. Families line the streets in the village to enjoy this festive event, but it wouldn't be possible without the Holly Jolly Folly. This year's fundraiser is scheduled to take place on Friday, December 5th at Golling Buick GMC, located at 1491 South Lapeer Road. Enjoy live entertainment, a silent auction, a cash bar, and a 50-50 raffle. Food will be provided by Italia Garden. Tickets are $35 per person and are available at Golling Buick GMC. For more information, call the Orion Area Parade Group at 248-802-5521 or visit orionlightedparade.org.
welcome back, guys. Now, I'm so excited because this is one of the topics that Brittany and I both love to talk about. Fashion. Fashion. <laughs> I know, right? So we're super, super excited because it just came out um, recently that Alexander Wang is launching a line for H&M. Yes. Tell us about it. Absolutely. So for all of you shoppers out there who love, love, love fashion, but you can't always buy the most expensive gear, that's okay because we love you and we feel the same way at times. Yes, we do. You know, <laughs> there's always being a college student, you have to learn how to make it work. Balling but, on a budget. <laughs> exactly. There's always a way to, you know, get actually a look for less or just to find good quality clothes that are not as expensive as the designer brands. So one of our favorite stores to shop at is H&M for the good clothes and they have a wide variety so it's from business clothes to casual to a night out with the girls or on the town and so on and so on like you can find whatever you're looking for there because they have it all however they just dropped a line by alexander wang last week and it was pretty nice. Um, did you see the clothes? I did. Did you see that cute black sweat, like sweatshirt? It's almost like a crop top, and it says, like, Wang. Wang over the top, yeah. I don't know if I would wear a shirt that says Wang. <laughs> I would wear a shirt you that would? says Wang. See, I'm not crazy for that. Like, uh, it's cute. Don't get me wrong. Maybe because I'm not edgy enough. I feel like I have to be super edgy yeah. to just, like, pull that off. You do. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know, I have different styles to me, so I can get edgy, I can be really chic, I can be very classy and, you know, dress the styles That's different. That's good. Like, you're yeah. like, like, you morph into I whatever. Do. That's a really bad way of putting it. But no, like, you can Not literally. Morph, it's, but I yeah. camouflage. You camouflage. Can, Thank yeah. you, Brittany. That's why you're here. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. But no, I feel like that line was, like, a, centered around soldiers like I feel like you felt like it was really I felt like yeah. it was like that too like really um military or like yeah, army absolutely yeah. even on the runway like when they show the actual line like on the runway they everybody's like soldiers like, yeah every, they have on these glasses and it's like they look very like military so maybe that's the look that they were going for like I don't know I'm guessing it was because that's the line they dropped mm -hmm. but yeah it's nice they have some really nice pieces there however it gets better. It gets better, guys. Next up, <laughs> Versace is dropping their fall line at H&M, and it's set to hit stores this November on the most perfect day in November. My birthday. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hitting the United States on November 19th. So that is a wonderful surprise. Let me just say, last year when Versace dropped their line at H&M, I was one of the people who was stood in line and got to H&M at uh, Summers, or not Summers, at uh, Lakeside is where I went. And I was like, I got to get this Versace. And they're like, oh, we're not selling it in Michigan. It's only in our <laughs> big market stores. So you yeah. might want to go to Chicago, so means, New York, <laughs> Yep, New LA. York, Chicago. Yes. Well, even Atlanta has it, LA, you know, Vegas. All of the larger areas are going to sell the line. But I did not get lucky. really Listen, the smaller. I snagged a dress. It was a return. It was a return from Chicago, and it just really? happened to be in a Your size, size. Two. Yes. Wow. And I was like, the fashion gods have looked down upon me and smiled. They did. Like, indeed. this is all in divine they order. They wanted you to have it. This Versace dress was meant for me. They wanted you to have it. So I bought. Yes, I bought the dress. But let's talk about price point because I thought, well, it's HM. It's going to be reasonable. Like, a nice dress at HM will run me usually anywhere from $50 to $75. Uh-uh. No. Not well, you Versace. know what? This line, it's actually very, di it's, it's different in the prices. So you can get things that are $50, $60, and it goes all the way up to a couple hundred dollars. Yes. And just so happened, the dress that I happen to like the most was the most expensive dress on the line. That's because you have great taste. I know, right? It, I mean, it was $300. So I looked at the dress, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's like this cute black leather dress. That's like the Versace one. Did it have patches? No. It's oh. like black leather dress, and it has like this stone detail around around it throughout the dress. It's very cute. I'll show you a picture of it. We'll actually put a picture up of it. However, it was like darling and it looks so nice. I could dress it so many different ways. And then I looked at the price and it's like two ninety nine. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, if you spend $2.99 well. for that dress, you better wear it 299 times. I'm just being serious. <laughs> like, if you spend $300, I want to get 300 different looks, 300 <laughs> days a year. <laughs> 
so you guys are only going to see me 65 days in other clothes. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, just speaking, saying. I mean, well, come on. It's dresses that cost way more than that. Of course. I mean, let's be honest. Especially Alexander Wayne on a good day. <laughs> like, if he's not at H&M, Alexander Wayne is anywhere from 2500 and up. Yeah, Versace as well. Yeah, I mean, like, I love this lifestyle, but I haven't started making enough money to afford the real Alexander well, that's Wayne. why, that's exactly why we're catering to our viewers who are college students like us or who were college students like us or who just simply can't afford it. the high-end merchandise. It's nothing wrong with that. So if you guys ever want to know what we're wearing or where we got our gear from or, you know, you like what we have on, you can always go to our Talk Juicy page on Instagram. It's at Talk Juicy. And we'll tag everything on there. We'll tag pictures after the show Perfect. and we'll put it up you know exactly where we got our outfits from because I actually had a few people ask and they like the way we dress so great I think that's cool and now that I think about it everything that I have on with an exception of like my shoes and maybe my watch and my diamonds it's from H&M really <laughs> I love H&M because you know you what my shirt is from there that I have on it's right a now one stop it's shop guys literally like the reason why I love H&M is because I can go in there with my fiance and we can go to like either side of the store and meet up at the cash register and I have my <laughs> outfits he, he has, has his, his outfits, outfits and he pays I love it. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. So guys can shop if you have, when you have kids. The baby. The babies can shop exactly. there. You can get clothes for them. You don't and, have to go anywhere. And then what I like most about it is it's such a wide variety. Like, so if you're a professional, you're a business professional, there's things for you. If you are a girl who, or a guy who likes to hang out and, you punk know. Punk rocker. Punk rocker. Yep. Yeah. They have things for you. If you are very chic and classy, they have things for you. Like, everything... Whatever style you have, they cater to your needs. It's all about how you put it together. You know so. what? I just had an idea. For our next episode, we're going to go to H&M, and we should do like a little segment like showing the different looks you can get at H&M for our watch. Our I love it. We'll I do love that. it too. Plus, we'll it'll give us a I reason wish, to shop. Yeah. <laughs> and it will give us a reason to for shop. For the show. Why not? Spend the money. Exactly. So I wish we did have those. The Versace line that's coming out, though, here in Michigan. Because we won't get it. Although it will hit the stores on November 19th, my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to say that again. It will hit the stores that day in the United States, just not in Michigan. Because we're not one of the larger market areas. So it won't be here. But you can shop online. Well, you can try to. Because with the, Vers um, with the Alexander Wayne release, I was online. Just curious because I wanted to buy a shirt. And uh, as soon as... The website opened up, it crashed. So really, that's yeah. how many people love these clothes. Yeah, you guys. can't. That's that's how popular H and M is, though. That like this is one of America's favorite stores. I remember when H and M first opened years ago. Um, I was probably I was working at the mall at the time, and I absolutely fell in love with the store because it's like Beyonce European. had a line. That, yeah, it's European. Beyonce had yeah. a line there, oh, and yeah, that's a good it line. was just like there was so many options. You know, like, my favorite line. I just fell in love. David Beckham has a line, and it's not even for women. It's for men. <laughs> but his clothes look so good on a man, you think like you're literally dating David Beckham. <laughs> you're like, mm, there's my man looking like David Beckham. You know what? Beckham. I would like to see Victoria Beckham have a line there. Yeah, that I awesome. love the way she dresses. Yes. She is just... Well, you know she has her own clothing line, and it's way expensive, and it will never be at H&M. Yeah. But, I but mean, no, I mean, if Versace will do a line at H&M, uh, Victoria, Victoria Beckham, Beckham can, can do, do a line at H&M. I agree. Come on. You know who else should do a line at H&M as a man? Kanye. Kanye is really dope. He has really good fashion sense. Yeah, Say what you Kanye want about him as a Barney's rapper. Though. But I know, but if he did a line for H&M, he always says how he wants his stuff to be accessible to all people and affordable. That would be is the Is that spot. why he put it at Barney's? Because I don't think it's accessible and affordable Listen, if it's in Barney's, I, I know I can't afford it if it's in Barney's. You know what? Only I Barney Bar I could afford is the purple Barney with the green dot. You know dot. what? Don't do it. I love Barney's. <laughs> I had a car. Mm -mm. You did? It went back. Yes. You had a Barney's car? Yes. Oh, and they gave me a limit that was a little bit too rich for my blood, and <laughs> and I and I regret it. I shouldn't have did the parties. <laughs> Wait, I'm just really thinking that I should go open one. Don't. Why? Please don't. Oh my gosh! Do you know what uh, I could buy? Love your life. Okay, so um, <laughs> sorry. I think we gotta take a break, right? We do, you guys. We got a little bit off topic. That's actually it for our show today. I'm so sad to say, but thank you guys so much for watching. We love you for watching. Yeah, we do. Um, make sure you follow us on 
Instagram at Tom Cece, and follow my personal page at Brittany Banks. And follow my personal page at Lally Leanne. We'll have the like captions. So yes, you know the where links to find it. are actually in the bio on Talk Juicy's page. So follow us. Make sure you Instagram us to see who you want to win the bowling challenge mm -hmm. and the tennis challenge and the shopping challenge. Because <laughs> I'm gonna win one. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you again next week. Thank you.